What we've talked about all through part one so far is really the nature of good and evil. The nature of what we experience in the world within ourselves as good and what we experience in within ourselves and in the world as evil. And ultimately it's broken down to simply this way. Love is that which creates everything that is good in the world and fear is that which ultimately creates everything that is evil in the world. And these are emotional polarities. These are the forces that either awaken consciousness and make it flower or they shut consciousness down and put it into a box. And these are the things that they bring into manifestation. Love brings dominion within. It brings freedom without. It is accomplished through magic to bring about the true will through alchemy to create non-dualism. Fear is bringing evil forward through creating internal confusion, which then results in the external desire for control. It works through the process of sorcery, manipulation and, and uh, uh, serving the egoic will to create illusion in others and ultimately opposition within the self and others. Love is sending us in the correct direction. The emotional compass is set properly when we're in the vibratory energy of love, higher consciousness. Its, its goal is oneness, to bring about the true self, to open our minds and hearts up to higher and higher levels of awareness, of consciousness, to help us to understand that we are but one thin slice of a multi-dimensional world of infinite consciousness taking place all around us. And it can help, it, it is trying to bring about a balanced brain, a perfectly balanced brain between the male and the female, the left and the right hemispheres of the brain. Because that is what will create order in the world. Okay? Now, all of these concepts will bring about good and order. The opposite side, evil, which works through fear, will create misdirection in life. Fear will always create misdirection. It will always throw the emotional compass off target and send us in the wrong direction because it's working to try to separate people. When you put people into fear, you're separating them and you're getting them to see everything as separate and themselves as separate from everything else. This is identification with the lower self. This is base consciousness. This is consciousness put in a box and in a trap. It's ego identification, total identification with the physical worldly roles that we play. Trapped in the five sense world. If my senses can't perceive it, it doesn't exist, even though they're very limited bandwidth, open to very limited uh, frequencies and bandwidths. But if my senses can't perceive it, it isn't real. And this is accomplished by keeping people in le largely in left brain prisonhood. And we'll talk now about how what these what these uh, different modalities actually bear into the world, what they birth into the world. And then we'll talk about we'll start to talk about how um, the brain can become imbalanced, and how the brain uh, really is a, is a, a very significant factor when it comes when it comes to uh, how these forces work in the world. So when our thoughts are in balance, when they're in harmony, okay. We are in the vibration of love. Okay? This is the essence of consciousness. This is the force that helps consciousness expand, and it ultimately is derived from how we think. When we are in that vibration, our emotions are acting as one, and they're helping us to create the, the, the um, unified consciousness of dominion. So as we think, we feel, we act, and we cannot be torn apart. And when we do that, then our actions are also in harmony and we're working toward true freedom. So it happens from our thoughts in a vibration of love. Internally, our emotions are in, are, are in harmony and in check. And we're not ruled by them either. We, we own them as well. We're in dominion. Okay, So we know what's going on within. Then we put that into practice in the outside world to create freedom which is the highest expression of love in the world. 
So the pyramid of love is built upon dominion within and freedom without. There's no other way to get to that state. There's no other way to create good in the world. Order, peace will come from these polarities being in operation within the self and in the outside world. You're not going to create in any other way. It's simply how the organizing principles of the world work. These are, these are the energies we are working with, and this is how they work. The opposite of this effect is if our thoughts are in complete disharmony and they're ruled by fear, we are in the fear vibration with how we think, then our emotions are going to be completely out of order. Often they are going to rule us instead of us using them for our benefit, and we're going to be in a complete state of confusion within. And then our actions are going to be geared toward trying to take external control over others. And the only thing that's ever going to create in the world is chaos and evil. That's all you can create with those polarities. You know, try, try to say that you're going to create good and order in the world through control is like saying, I'm going to take my wet laundry that I just washed and I'm going to dry it by pouring more and more water on top of it. You'll never dry it like that. It's an impossibility. You're adding the opposite polarity than what you want. And that's what, that's what people in fear-based consciousness, in internal confusion, that don't really understand the self, that have not made a study of their psychological and emotional makeup, are, are going, to, they're, they're, they're going to create nothing but chaos in the world through trying to control things externally instead of understanding what's really going on inside of us. So that's how that pyramid works.